Hello everyone, it's Rini from Rini Rocks. I hope you guys are enjoying your summer so far. I know I have been, that's why I haven't been making videos lately, but I'm going to show you how I am going to make this tray. Um, here I have painted a 13 inch wood round and I've taped the bottom half. Um, and I just use regular acrylic paint to uh, paint the round. So we're going to get started um, with the colors. I'm using Amsterdam Prussian Blue, May Springs Dazzling White, Diamond, sorry, uh, May Springs Gilded Gold, what else here? Purple Haze by Black Diamond. And then I've mixed these two. Um, I don't remember the name. I think it's TJ but it's fuchsia with symphony red and I'm going to use some gold alcohol ink some casting craft and some white alcohol ink and I've mixed those two together just a little bit and you'll see here I've already mixed everything up and it's ready to go so this is the Gilded Gold by May Spring. This is part of their Geode collection, which I um, absolutely love, and I've been making a whole bunch of stuff with it. And I'm just adding a few drops of the um, alcohol ink into the gold. Let's give that a quick stir. And here's the Prussian Blue acrylic paint, one of my faves. And those are the two um, Symphony Red and Fuchsia. Purple, Dazzling Diamond. I use that on pretty much everything now. All right, so we're going to get started. We're just going to cover this entire base with the white paint or excuse me, with the white uh, resin mix. So now the entire board has been covered up and we're going to get to the fun part. First I'm laying down the Prussian Blue and we're just going to do a resin pour. I've done this before with acrylic paint and I don't think I, I don't know, I don't, I've never tried with resin. Uh, so we'll see. 
you guys will see how it goes and the purple haze and I'm just pretty much layering the colors now. Just uh, add a little bit more, just pretty much layering, like I said before. Now that I'm doing the voiceover and I'm just looking, I probably, next time I do this, I am not going to add so much paint. Um, but nonetheless, it was still fun to do. And I think it turned out pretty good, which you guys will see. And you'll see here I didn't use up all of the paint. I left some um, so that I can just uh, kind of beef it up. And try to get some of that white blown over the colored mica and paint. Wish me luck! And get the heat gun and just heat this up a little bit so it can get more fluid and be able to move around. And here it goes. Okay. pretty cool. There's some areas that I don't like. Obviously it's um, yeah right. I love the lacing that's happening in the middle. I hate that part and that part needs to go. It's uh, looking a little muddy. Just give it a quick torch. And as time goes on, more cells will develop. All right, so now you'll see me here. I'm just going to take my little silicone squeegee and scrape off the parts that I don't really like.
It's definitely a little bit harder when you're using resin rather than when you're doing this with acrylic paint. You know, before I started actually playing with resin, I, I uh, did lots of um, acrylic pours and first rock painting, then acrylic pours. And then I discovered resin and the rest is history. But, yeah, I don't know about that side either. We're gonna think I'm gonna, I think I scraped that off. I think right, right about now I'm realizing that I need to mix up some more white. Oh, I should mention that um, I had mixed up 300 milliliters of resin for this project, and I probably didn't need that much, but um, I like to have more than not enough, and if I do have extra, then I usually just uh, um, make crystals with the leftover resin. Yep, there I go. Got to mix up some more white. So, while I'm doing that, I just, uh, let's talk about this weather. Here in BC, we had the heat wave that, unlike I have ever experienced, actually, I think maybe once when I visited a uh, family in Athens, did I experience such heat. But what we had going on in BC was ridiculous. Um, yeah, it was not fun. And I literally slept outside on a trampoline at night and got attacked by mosquitoes. But... <clears throat> that was fine because there was no way I could sleep inside the house at all. Um, most of us here don't have air conditioning because it never really gets that hot. And now, of course, with the heat and the drought, we have far forest fires. So, yeah, it's been an interesting summer so far. Anyhow... If it's not one thing, it's another. But I can't complain because before you know it, fall, winter will be back. And it'll be nine months of that, so I hate that too. <laughs> Anyhow, okay, so you'll see there I have covered up or filled in that area with the um, with some more white um, resin mix. And I'm now I'm just tilting it. I remember actually having the thought of like, oh, I can just blow it out. No, I mean, you can't blow it out. It's resin. <laughs> Anyhow. I don't know. I'm pretty, I'm liking how this is turning out. Yep, that's what I thought, and get rid of that. You know, doing these voiceovers seems a little weird to me, so forgive me if I do sound weird. Um, I'm used to speaking, but... You know... Uh, while I'm making the video, but uh, sometimes I can't. Sometimes I have to wear my, my respirator, which I do. So it's just, uh, I go back and forth. It depends on the project and how long it takes and so on and so forth.
All right. And I think we are done. Oop, no, not done there. I'm going to get rid of that. Just trying to get rid of some of the muddiness that happened. All right, see you guys soon. Good morning, everyone. So here it is, it's finished. I am pretty happy with how it turned out. I love the effects and the lacing that I got. I'm really happy that I used that, um, um, what do you call that? Oh my goodness, the white glitter from uh, May Spring. Sorry, I can't remember off the top of my head right now. And you'll see here, actually on the bottom here, I off camera I decided to add some more gold and just uh, blew it out. And then I added some on the top and I didn't like it so I kind of just tilted it and let it go and then I left remnants of it. I don't know. It's my first time doing this and I'm pretty happy with the results. So now what I'm going to do is take the tape off the base and insert it into the tray that this uh, this will this is going to turn into a tray. And uh, yeah, tell me what you guys think. It's awesome. I think it's awesome. Okay, I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And I will see you guys again soon. Bye now.